around. The station crew took the photos, lets us image the underside of the vehicle. And like I said, everything went like clockwork uh, for the RPM, stayed right in spec. When we concluded the RPM, we finished, uh, finished there on the R bar and headed up what we call a TORVA, which is a twice orbital rate V bar approach. <laughs> Very big word for meaning that we fly up from underneath on the R bar up to the velocity vector on the V bar where Commander uh, Dom Gorey flew us in and headed into docking. This was a fantastic shot just as sunrise was coming up. Uh, and we came in, you can see uh, alignment here. This is from the center line camera in the docking system of the shuttle and finally get into hard mate as we uh, contact and do a final thruster firing to drive the ring closed and, and get a nice hard, hard latch with the, uh, the capture latches. Crews came across the hatch. This is just after I left console. Uh, they were all very happy to be on board the ISS uh, and you can see Peggy and Leo there uh, greeting the crew. Let's see. Right before we opened hatches, um, after docking, we got the shuttle arm out. One of the uh, unique parts of this flight was as soon as we docked, the pilot, Greg Johnson, and uh, Takal Doy got the shuttle arm fired up, moved it from the position it was in at pre-cradle, and took it out to an, a viewing position called the SLP viewing position. This is for a maneuver they're about to do with the station arm to pull the Space Lab pallet out of the payload bay and install it over on the station on the mobile base system, the MBS. Uh, a device called the POA, the Payload ORU Attach uh, or Accommodation. Uh, basically, it's an end effector of the station arm, and, and we're going to take the space.